and welcome back to part 10 of Beyond Earth. Now, last episode we finally managed to get a rough idea of what we're dealing with. The main enemies left are all on this continent. Targets are Freeland, Mandira, Magan and Sidala, all of which are reasonably close to the coast so an amphibious assault may work. But that seems a bit too easy and a bit short. I mean, we all know I'm a good military commander. So, why do I need to prove it? Anyway, <clears throat> we've got us spec up in the corner being annoying, but we need to keep all our health up for the moment. Hmm. Our culture levels are through the floor, so we'll work on those. And Actually, now that we've got the cruisers, let's send one of them over to check on the depth blue, and the other to do a rough scout of the peninsula means we get a rough idea of what we're dealing with. Sadly, Adept Blue is still there. Now might be a bad time to start moving in, that's all I'm saying. The Indians have been spying on us? No lies now. Chale jao. We asked them not to blooming deal with us, which is good. Which means they'll stop nicking all our technology. Yay! Now, we're down to only 25 unhappiness. How? Of which... Fully annex it. Yada 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 resistance. Okay, martial law in three turns, but our armor around Uzbek is now superfluous as anything, really. So let's get that moving out. Hmm. Also, the area around Beagle Station needs a hell of a lot of work before we can call it civilized. So, we'll keep going around there. Oh dear! Are you a bit hippity that I don't want to be an alien-hugging hippie? Boo-fecking-who! Peace treat has ended. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Because you have every chance of winning. Oh look! Aliens. Ooh, Raptor. Well, you're an unlucky looking sod, aren't ya? Hmm. Still, no mantis. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Commander? You have my permission to get into gunnery range and turn the aliens into mush. It's like the goddamn ending of Starship Troopers. I think. Still. Ladies and gentlemen, civilization AI at its absolute finest. Yeah, you've slagged me off. You've spied me. You attack me without provocation. And you want me to fucking help you? Where's the option for fuck off and die? I don't know, really, sometimes. Still, at least this cruise is going to get its gunnery practicing quite nicely. And that we've got others, we might actually need another military unit to keep an eye on things. I said might. Hmm. Okay. Let's get the Auge Blooming well farmed up there. Trade vessel around Route Santa Jim Boomer. Should work. Choose production. Defeat site hub. Oh yeah. We've got blooming. 
Now, as we don't know where the rest of the Cavifican cities are, I'm trying to figure out what the least dickish move we could do is. Let's assign them to Citadella. Just so we can get a rough idea of the area. Okay. A sort of military backup plan. Anyway, right now, we are going to basically go and blow up some fucking aliens. <clears throat> you know, because claws are so perfectly balanced against 150mm shoreside batteries and ship-to-shore missiles, aren't they? In other news, pigs can't fly. La 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 la. <clears throat> Get a Sunder going at Avalon Station. Now I can't tell whose side that cruiser's on. Which is a bit of a problem, really. It means we can't really figure out what we're doing. John Henry smiled at the crawler, and he's We built a crawler? Since when? Ah well. A Xenomalium, okay, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all, but all generators produce two energy, extra energy. More as a denial plan than anything, it should work. Okay. Carabrost is now out of the mess, that's good. Get me a gene garden, and you. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're probably going to settle down there anyway now that we think about it, but okay. There's still a great big swathe of Western Ocean to explore, but we're good. We're good. So anyway, let's, let's just... Excuse me, my OCD is being annoying here. Why would you build it through frickin' miasma? Choose operation, establish network. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Let's get some slow technology stealing going. Very slow. Very, very slowly indeed. Oh, alien nest discovered. Surprise. Fucking surprise. We weren't expecting that now, were we? Anyway, now that all that lot's taken care of, let's move the disciple into a reasonably central location. And have the cruiser in a secondary spot. Let's bang up a generator. Miasma or more Xenomass? Yes. Because we don't have the technology and it's absolutely bloody useless, but we, at least we can trade it. Yeah. Sell it to the Cavificans, get them to give all their secrets away, and then go nyom. Ours now! Nya la 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 la. Right now, it's still going to be... Because when that hits over, that's going to go through the roof. What's ours is yours. Mm, For a price. Yes. Okay, let it tick over again. And let's just keep this going. You get a pharma lab because we need health. Our feed site hub. Cover agents or work ethic. Work ethic! 
Faster workers, better workers. Oh, you're building mag rails? Very nice indeed. Hmm. But we still need to make a plan. In the case of hmm. Purity reached. Excellent. Now then. Let's go for... Hmm. Cognition and collaborative thought. That should keep things interesting. Avalon is branching out quite nicely. Quite nicely indeed. So there's no need to worry. And once you get there to clean out that alien nest, we won't have to worry about any aliens at all. I think as you're all clear in there, Beagle Station looks more or less fully developed. And suddenly, our energy per turn has gone up to 92. Extra. Never mind building. We can just throw money at the problem and make it disappear. Look at me, I'm in American politics! Satire, 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 satire. And we're down to only five negative health. Woo! Chuck up a vivarium around Rupert's Land. You're good there. You... You need some workers up there, mate. And you need some... more culture. Actually, oh yeah, we've got food buildings in Nova Scotia already, haven't we? So it'll be a little rough, but won't be too rough. Here's hoping, anyway. Keep the trade convoys rolling. Tell Avalon to switch and make a vivarium. So we don't need that commander to sit on the alien nest now. Oh, look! He doesn't like us. My reaction... Jog on! Some people don't seem to get the message. There's a lovely little stash of ferraxite down there that I'm going to take quite a lot of pride in exploiting the ever-loving smeg out of. Hmm. Beagle Station does need that vivarium quite badly. More food. Always good. And once you finish digging up... Hmm. The Africans like us. The Indians don't. The Brazilians are kind of... And we've got culture threshold. Excellent. I thought we've already got that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Going off space side. Alternative markets. Independence network. All of these are not bad, not bad, not bad. Hmm. Extra science. Not a bad thing. Let's start some prosperity stuff. We've got the room for it. Hmm. Indeed. Hmm. As usual, throw culture at things. Throw culture, hope it works. We need definitely to get some work done around here. Let's 
the fact the aliens are taking a week and a half makes me think there's a... Oh boy, this just got interesting. Aliens. Lots and lots of aliens. Precog Project, basically the Samurai Castle. Um, yep, I'm good with that. I'm down for that. Step freaking one. Build, farm, and get everything going. More health, more health, more health. We will grant our empire the likes of which something something empire. I've sort of run out of things to say here. I'm just running on automatic. We have no interest in fighting. Our empire may be strong. Did did they just what go off the face of the map? Am I supposed to be laughing now? Because guess what? I'm laughing now. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, looks like we need to get some Xenomass research done after frickin' all. Uh, um, which one was the thing we needed for it? That actually sounds pretty fucking sweet, but I'm not a fucking tree hugger. Mechanized war. Mm -hmm. The problem is, there's not a great deal of anything we can really do here, is there? However, this seems to be interesting. A Xenonova, eh? Extra health! Hells, yeah! Go for Bing and Bing. A long term research plan never hurts. And I'm just having, you know, five million workers chucking resources at everything. Venga. The well, Brazilians well, well. want more energy, only three. Make that in about a week. There's still aliens near Beagle Station, and I don't give a crap. You definitely need workers, mate, as you are out of order. Same with you, but you are going to be a low-key worker. Still, we need to get a victory plan sorted before too long. But then again, once this resource ticks over, we should get a nice little boost. Okay, now let's see. First things first, get as much as we can up. Throwing resources at a problem should help it. As we are hardly short on resources, well, Rupert's Land is going to need all the growth it can. We're a bit short on outpost growth, but we shouldn't have any problems. Clear up all this miasma, get it nice and habitable for us, you know, air-breathing, bipedal humanoids rather than the insectoid aliens. What's ours is yours. Now then, now then, now then. We get a road from Calabros to Asira. Here we basically go straight to Nova Scotia, which should complete the Great Highway. I've got to think, however. Now, if 
That's the one, two, three line. Hmm? That's the three line from Carabrost. Yeah, I need to think about this. Otherwise, I'm going to be kicking myself in the future. So that is the fr so that Xenomass is the free line. Okay. And that hill is the free line from Assyria. Basically, anywhere between this bit of Thraxite and this bit of Geothermal will be ideal. And here is, I've got to put three in as well. One, two, three, which means this line and. One. Yep. Yeah. Build it to there. Really wish we had more Thoraxite to play with, but we've got. Hey, wait, we've got energy. I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. Oh, wait, that wasn't the right bit of. Oh, well. Let's get a biofuel plant going there, and a cloning plant in Carabrost. Nah, more work. We are low on Thoraxite again, but, well, we've got three there, three there when we expand, three there when we build, and a fair bit there. Seven there, that's going to get improved to Smeg if we get a chance. So, I wouldn't start counting your chickens just yet. Because we are fucking getting somewhere now. As for you, straight route to Rupert's Land. Rupert's Land gets an auto plant. And I call the episode here. We just about fixed the happiness problem, so we're ready to expand again. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to do all that fun stuff like like, share, rate, comment and subscribe. And until then, bye!